Be they spy or smuggler or just someone who's hiding, science fiction characters need to be stealthy sometimes. But I don't really want to say, so-and-so is being stealthy. Show, don't tell, right? So here are some things I look at when showing that a character is inconspicuous. Hi, I'm Casey Hudson and I write sci-fi novels. Drawing from the real world, there are several ways to communicate that my characters are blending in. Here are some things that I incorporate when I'm making the sneakiest of characters. The idea here is don't draw attention. The average human is strongly cognizant of the input they receive from their eyes and ears. So, first things first, is my stealthy character visually obvious in any way? And how much noise are they making? For this one, I think about some obvious things like atypical clothing or accessories, bright colors or mesmerizing patterns, and clacking shoes or jangling jewelry. But also, there may be some less obvious considerations. For instance, when thinking about bright colors and loud sounds, I look at what colors and light spectrums the average person in my scene can see. What volumes and frequencies can they hear? Plus, scenes in my Drifting Amalgams universe may not be populated with only, or any, humans. So, I have to decide, are sight and sound even the most important senses to the people in the environment? Maybe smells are more noticeable. Or maybe I'm working with a species that can sense emotion via pheromones. That means that when I describe a character who's trying to be inconspicuous, I need to think about how they can hide sensory cues. That includes smell, heat signature, vibrations from the character's movements, and anything else that may alert people to their presence. Another aspect of stealth that I look at is a character's demeanor. The mundane, like eye contact and law abidance, matter when trying to avoid notice. In the real world, someone who averts their eyes or looks directly into someone's eyes draws focus. People who walk along the fringes of a crowd and those who break the law call attention to themselves, or at least that's true in North America. This is where it gets a bit tricky though, and fun. Actions stand out when they're uncommon or unexpected. So, before, when I mentioned that bright colors or jangly jewelry may not be a good choice, that's really only true if I'm writing a scene full of people wearing dull colors and no accessories. If my stealth character is the only one in black, in an environment that thrives in vibrancy, they're not really all that stealthy. There are also societal roles, class, and status to consider. If I'm including these social aspects in my world building, I need to account for them in my stealth situations. For instance, I wouldn't want a lower class character to act the way an upper class person would. Those around them may consider that behavior brash or haughty, and that would definitely draw attention. Knowing this, I can also play with situations where my characters try to be stealthy but miss the mark. This may mean that they are wearing the wrong fashions or misjudging how others perceive their manners. Technology is the most sci-fi part of the stealth conversation. Invisibility suits, cloaks, and sensory suppression technology are all fair game here. When I'm interested in keeping some of the hard science in my writing, I look at the real-life capabilities of technologies like metamaterials and cloaking via antennae or wave cancellation. But it is science fiction, so all manner of unobtainium creations can abound. What if a planet has an abundant resource that is lightweight, malleable, and undetectable by any known location devices. Describing the chemical or physical properties of that material would make for a fascinating world-building exercise. Definitely worth exploring. Until next time, keep creating.